Welcome back everyone to another episode on the Derpton Realm. Today we are trying to find a stronghold, both to get the armor trims of the stronghold and the end cities, but just to get to the end in general and see what it's looking like on this server. So yeah, I had some troubles here. You can see my first attempt trying to find it in uh, the ocean, but I felt like it was just too close to spawn to find an armor trim. So I decided to go out to the far nether portal I know of and try to find, some, find it there. surface because I didn't find the stronghold, bred some dogs because for some reason, and uh, then this next clip is me back down with my dogs, except uh, I actually died because uh, I was trying to find the hole I dug straight down to because I built the staircase up, so I was trying to find the hole again to see if I could dig, dig a hole next to it to find the stronghold, and I accidentally fell down the hole and died, and when I came back, my stuff unfortunately despawned, it despawned right in front of my eyes too. I got there, I got half the stuff, you can see I have cow chopper, my sword still, but the rest of the stuff despawned. My last good pickaxe, you know, we lost better brother, I forget how we lost him a while ago, and then we lost the silk touch one just now, so it's unfortunate. Anyways, let's continue on with the rest of this, huh? So I started, like any sane person, by burning down the forest, you know, so I can see where the eyes of Ender were going more properly without having to get all the trees in the way. I chopped down the remainder. Uh, then you can see my little base here. I set up a bed so that way I wouldn't have to walk all the way over here again and 
some other basic stuff and I'm throwing the eyes at enter and it's going straight down into a hole that I dug that I fell down and died to uh, even though I dug straight down there and there was no stronghold so at this point I'm starting to lose hope that there actually isn't a stronghold here for some reason and that somehow the world being carried over for a couple versions ended up breaking it so that's kind of my current thought process on that so I decided to go caving for more copper and uh, other just general supplies because you know how it be. Got some copper, iron, diamond. I know I said more copper, but that's because I was thinking of a later part of the video. But we really do need more copper. And uh, there's a lot of it down here, and I love it. We found a mob spawner, zombie. Uh, died a couple more times. You know the use. Me. I die a lot, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this game, but yeah, so nothing really in here. I do end up taking it, though. You know, just... A small amount of copper, nothing crazy, just getting, uh, you know, a regular amount. Uh, but honestly though, guys, imagine if I still had my fortune pickaxe, oh my gosh, it would be so good. I really want to get another one so I can get more copper. I fire up a smelter, start burning some of those logs no one needs, because, you know, logs? Who needs wood when you... Just decimate a forest and smelt your copper. And this is the start to the wall I was building. This is kind of me testing out a pattern. I think I like it. I'll be honest with you guys, this is the first big build I've done. I've, I don't have no experience really building. Uh, but yeah, so here I end up logging on and I get x-rayed. Like I get a small amount of x-ray vision. I see there's a stronghold. There actually is a stronghold. I'd given up hope. I was just building a base for fun at this place but now I'm building a base above the stronghold and I think I'm gonna plan to renovate the stronghold um, make it look nice and uh, incorporate it as part of the base because I think that'd be pretty cool so yeah um, just me just going around it's very big it's a huge stronghold I mean I don't know strongholds probably are usually pretty big but it was a lot bigger it's gonna be a lot of work trying to renovate this place um, Luckily, not a ton of mobs have spawned. I mean, you see me dealing with these guys, but there really aren't a ton. I think the silverfish are going to be the biggest problem. Um, I'm not sure if I should remove the cracked bricks and mossy bricks or not, or if I should leave those. And we got the eye armor trim, so that is awesome. This is what we were hoping for coming here. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Here's me finding the nether port or the, the ender portal. I do not have enough eyes anymore, unfortunately, to light it. But uh, I'm planning on building a nether portal here, anyways, for warped wood. So uh, we just need a couple more blazes and endermen, and we'll be good from that. Get another armor trim. Mine some blackstone for a thing. We mined a lot of blackstone, guys. Like the mines underneath my fortress are kind of insane. Um, yeah, here's me testing out the pattern more. I'm starting to really like it at this point. Um, yeah, I think I'm calling it like the the Lost Ender Fortress or the Fort Lost Ember. I don't know. Ender? Not Ember. Ender. Ender. Anyways, I'm letting the... I don't care about bees or waxing the copper. I like copper degrading. I think that's cool, and I think it's an amazing mechanic on copper so I'm letting it degrade naturally I'm gonna have areas inside that you can use an axe to wipe the rust off and so that way you can repair it if you want but if not then you know is what it is here's me looking at the view off of the first story you can see that that far blackstone blob kinda looks like a blob it's actually a circle around where the ender portal is so if you're wondering where that is in relation to underground, that's where that is. Um, I have a couple tunnels down to the stronghold actually at this point. Um, one of them's inside that broken blackstone building, and I end up finding a spawner inside the stronghold. So I'm not sure what I should do with this just yet, but I think it might be pretty cool to use. Um, and yeah, find a like this, so I'll have to make a jukebox at some point. kind of cool because it's in the corner of the room too so it's neat here's me looking at the fortress from above 
Uh, I didn't realize that there was a river so close. It's kind of crazy, but yeah, so you can see all the area I burnt down and chopped down and uh, get an idea for the scale of the building a bit from far away. Kind of from a bird's eye view of what people with elytras would use because there's a lot of people using elytras on the server. Uh, here's me. My carrot farm sustains all my hunger and I'm looking at the front door. I built these little archways off the front door based off the uh, pillars that come off the building naturally. I think it came out pretty well. And here's me with two sides of the building done. And a little glimpse of the other side of the building. And this is just going to be me, uh, you know, building the, the pattern of the building. Uh, each copper strip is eight tall, two wide. So a lot of the building was, okay, I know the copper is eight tall, including, so I need to put the stairs at the top and bottom of the eight, eight blocks. And then there's two above, two below that. Um, it's really, I think building in patterns, which is what I'm doing, is probably the easiest way to build um, for newer players like myself. Or, I mean, I've been playing Minecraft a long time, but, you know, newer to doing more sophisticated buildings than your average uh, Minecraft stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I just said, but basically I think patterns are the way to go for me. Because um, you have this detailed stuff where it's a nice cottage and wood and different kinds of uh, blocks to use to blend it all together, but patterns just are the simplest way to convey, to make it look detailed while also having it be kind of simple. And the, having a repeating pattern uh, helps it look, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, guys. I'm just trying to fill out the time. Uh, and yeah, so, <clears throat> there was something else I was gonna say. Shoot. These pillars on the front were something I constantly <laughs> was trying to struggle with. I think I got most of the stairs done in the right place, but uh, we'll see. You know, as I continue to do more passes by the building, and fixing little things here and there. I noticed there's a couple upside down stairs I forgot at the very top. And yeah. Overall, I'm really happy with how this building looks so far. Um, this is just, I'm planning on doing a second building that's on top of the ender portal area. So that way that's covered and it's got a tunnel down to the ender portal or something like that. Yeah, we're going to be wrapping up the video soon. Um, I would say, I mean, obviously the interior of this building is not done yet, but uh, excluding the interior, just looking at the out, the ex exterior, um, I would say we're like 78% done. There's mainly just the roof and the floor on top of the area. Oh, and we need end rods which will be difficult, obviously we'll have to go to the nether for that, and some other, or the ender, the end, the end, I don't know man, there's too many dimensions, there's only three, but it's too many, uh, but yeah, so, here's me just putting out more copper, and, yeah, there's always a wonder, wandering trader around for some reason, I, ended, I upgraded to two furnaces here, because one was not enough. Breaking the furnaces. This gave a lot of XP, by the way. I think I was like level 9, and then I'm level 33, which is kind of insane. Uh, unfortunately, I die and lose it all, but yeah, so I end up taking these out and I'm upgrading them to blast furnaces. And I feel like the two blast furnaces actually starts chewing through the copper pretty well. It's still maybe not as fast as you would want it, but 
I mean, you know, you're not going to be able to put in like seven stacks and get it instantly, but I feel like at this point, it goes, well, I'll also make some shears so we can start getting the, uh, is it linen? I don't know, the weird glowy vines you find underground, as well as cobwebs. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, for the interior, I actually kind of want it to look kind of uh, homey, homely, I don't know. I don't think that's the right word, but like kind of like a hearth by the fire, and I have, that doesn't make any sense, but like a nice chimney, I guess, and just make it look feel a little home, home-like, I guess. So a cold and dark outside leads into a like kind of a nice cluttered but lived-in atmosphere. A place you go after it rains the day and you need to dry off your socks. I took a lot of fall damage in this build, by the way. I was starting to see the use of scaffolding, but yeah, it's just a good look underneath. Some more mining for copper and blackstone specifically. Unfortunately, at this point, I do lose cow chopper. It was the last of my equipment to survive so far, and it lasted me long. It was a gift from cow and... Uh, yeah, it's no more. So, that's unfortunate. A creeper got me, and then a creeper blew up after the creeper. You know it'd be. But, uh, we got a stack and a half of copper blocks, and we're finishing up the second story here. I don't actually have a clip of me showing off the second story, but, uh, uh, yeah, you'll see it next episode. It'll be this episode. We built the first part. Next episode, I don't know. I don't really have a plan, but at some point, Here's me testing out the copper floors, because I wasn't sure if I wanted copper floors or not, and at this point, I know I want copper floors. So, it's a bit expensive, but I like it. So, yeah, anyways, see you guys next episode. Bye.